I would like to take this opportunity to greet the people of God in the wonderful and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. First and foremost, dear brothers and sisters, may we be grateful to God for the gift of life with all the blessings and the challenges that life may throw at us from time to time. Secondly, I want to say a big thank you to my church, the UCCSA, for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to render a message of hope during these times of great uncertainty. Without wasting time, dear brothers, let us find the message for today, which will be in our Bibles on the New Testament section, Gospel according to John, chapter 14, verse 1, which reads as follows. Do not be worried and upset, Jesus told them. Believe in God and believe also in me. Come, let us pray. Dear God, may these words be pleasing in your sight. May they be found worthy to be considered the good news by your people. All this for the praise and glory of your name. In the wonderful and mighty name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, allow me to say in life there are good times and in life there are tough times. These were obviously not good times for Jesus and his disciple. And definitely this was no ordinary conversation. Jesus had to inform his disciples that his time on earth was coming to an end, that he was leaving. This was not going to be good news in the ears of his disciples. Why? Because they had built their lives around Jesus because they had seen the things that Jesus had done in their lives. They had seen the things that Jesus had done in the lives of other people. Mostly, they had a hope that Jesus was going to liberate them from the oppression of the Roman Empire. So a series of questions was to be sitting heavy on their hearts as they were asking themselves, what are we going to be without this guy? Who are we going to become without Jesus? And again, this was no ordinary conversation because amongst many of Jesus's followers, Jesus had the select few. Jesus had those that he had specifically selected and handpicked to form part of his team. Jesus had those that he specially selected, those who will eventually become known as the apostle. So this conversation was not heard by anyone. You see, the point that I'm trying to make today is that If you are hearing this message today, you are hearing the message that was heard by Jesus' special team. So if you are hearing this message today, consider yourself a part of Jesus' special team. If you are hearing this message today, consider yourself a part of the select few. What was the message? The message was simple. Do not worry. Do not be upset. Have faith in Jesus. Have faith in God. Allow me to say Jesus had displayed his full divinity as God, that he is not just a God who is able to journey with the person, but he's a God who who is able to walk with the person and also discern the thoughts of the people's heart. And he was not happy with what was in their heart. So he offers a remedy. And the remedy was simple. Change focus. Change focus and believe. Isn't what the disciples were going through 
at that time what the world is going through today. We are sitting with heavy thoughts in our hearts. We are sitting and facing times of uncertainty. The message for today is simple. Let us change focus and start finding faith in God. Let us change focus and find faith in Jesus. You see, faith is the only light that will carry us through to the next day. What are we without Jesus? What are we without God? So if ever you are to look at yourself today, remember, if you are hearing this message, you are part of Jesus' team. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. Change focus and start getting hope. Hope is the only currency that will see you through these times of great uncertainty. Jesus is telling his loved ones to stop worrying and start hoping. May these words be found worthy to be considered the good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May we change focus.